hello everyone in this video let us learn how we can uh, set up a test mail server that we can use uh, with jira or any other uh, application so today i want to spend some time talking about mail trap now mail trap is uh, an online service where you can sign up for an account and that particular account will let you create a mailbox, a test mailbox that you can use in your applications for development. For example, if you are developing some application that is sending some email. Now for sending an email, you can either use your, uh, let us say, Gmail account or maybe you can configure uh, some kind of, of SMTP. Uh, but there is also a possibility of uh, using this service without worrying about uh, setting up the mail server. So you're focused on doing the main thing, which is, let us say, your development. And today I will be talking about uh, Jira because I uh, set up mail trap with my Jira instances so that I can uh, test how emails are sent. So I will also show you how to configure it in Jira, which I believe I have shown um, already, but it is uh, uh, very simple. But first of all, you need to go to this site called uh, mailtrap.io uh, and if you go to this site you can uh, create your account and then you can uh, uh, log in and uh, you can then of course uh, take a look at uh, different things that you can do now the moment you log in if you're using a free version there is a free service uh, where you can of course do almost everything uh, but you can just create one mailbox you can create a mail ma mailbox and uh, the moment you create a mailbox you will get uh, some details about uh, how to configure it. So let us say uh, you want to configure this particular uh, test mailbox with uh, Ruby on Rails. So you can create this uh, uh, mailbox and you will get some details like username, password, like the host name that you need to use, support number, and so on. So you, you, you need basically these details to connect to this particular uh, mail server, of course, for testing only. and uh, uh, you, you. I mean, the good thing is that right now I'm of course showing you, the, showing you the password, but I can uh, definitely reset it, and I can generate a new set of uh, username and password, or I can just get rid of this mailbox completely. And uh, you have of course the integrations for uh, different applications. So if you have to do the same thing for Cake PHP, or uh, maybe you want to do it for Symphony, so you you can simply uh, use. Uh, this sample or you know this piece of code and copy it in your application but of course uh, we need to worry about mainly the port number which is usually the same but the host name username and password so i use it a lot and uh, i uh, use it for of course uh, testing things that i can do with uh, jira i'm talking about jira but uh, i use mail trap with other applications like uh, if I'm uh, doing some development on a Drupal website, so I use it basically uh, to do the same thing for sending test emails. Now, if you log into Jira, you can uh, configure your uh, outgoing mail, and uh, for configuring your uh, outgoing a outgoing a uh, mail, you need to of course uh, provide the same details: uh, your host name, your uh, uh, your SMTP port, your username, and of course password. And when you click on, let us say, this option to send a test email, you can then um, send a test email, of course, but uh, let us do it very quickly. Let us send uh, maybe an HTML based email and you can click on the send button just to you know validate whether this is working or not. And uh, you, you can see here that, uh, um, I mean, there is no message right now, but if I go back to my uh, mailbox, I can see here that I have a mail from uh, this particular uh, Jira instance. So this is very handy because uh, using uh, this uh, this mail trap service, I can uh, configure this uh, virtual fake or test mailbox for, of course, uh, doing testing. And I thought it is something interesting that I can uh, that I actually wanted to share with uh, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.